where we're going to be talking about poultices. Poultices are little packages you can make of vegetable matter that you would put on various ailments for various effects. And the first one I'm going to look at is the onion. And the onion is a drawer. I think most people are aware of that. If you have a room that's just been painted and has a strong odour, you can slice the onion up and put it on a plate and it'll absorb the odours out of the air. If you have a, a fridge that has a bad smell, number one, find out where it's coming from eliminate that but sometimes the smell can remain you can slice up an onion and put it in the fridge and it'll absorb those odors so it is fairly well acknowledged that the onion is a drawer you can use onion cooked or you can use it raw and the cooked onion in my knowledge is used for two main reasons one is for an earache and it was the first poultice that I ever did. The little old lady next door told me about it. And she said, you steam an onion. Now you either steam it or dry bake it because if you boil it, some of the healing properties in the onion will go into the water. So you, you usually do it. Now my helpers very efficiently took the skin and the end off, but you actually leave all that on because <laughs> that'll help to hold it together. And then when it's, when it's um, soft, you cut it in half, and you cut it in half across ways, so you're now looking at the, at the rings. And what you can do is you can squeeze it, squeeze some of the juice from the steamed onion, it'll be boiling, and when it hits the spoon, it'll cool a little, and then you can put that into the ear, and that can bring a bit of relief. And then you wrap up the onion in a cloth. Now you can use a cloth like this, which is, looks like it's a cut up from an old sheet, or you could use a hand towel or a tea towel. So you wrap it over a few times, because remember, it's boiling hot. And when you get it to the right temperature, test it on your arm, then it can be placed on the ear. And then you will put a little sheet of plastic over that, which will keep the warmth in. And then you could bandage it on the ear, or you could put a little woolen beanie on to hold it there. Or some people might feel to sleep and they will lay, lay down on the ear. As long as you can keep it warm, you can keep it there. If it starts to get cold, then the ear will ache. Now this hot onion, the heat has an effect to relieve the pain because whenever you've got pain you've got cramping muscles and moist heat relaxes cramping muscle so that moist heat will do that but also the onion being a drawer will draw. Now sometimes the onion will cause a little hole to be made in the eardrum. If the body makes the hole, not a problem. If you stick something in your eardrum and make a hole, you got a problem. <laughs> but if the body makes it, and often when the hole is made, then the pus will come out and that can bring a lot of relief. But sometimes the onion will just reduce the inflammation to the point that the blood will, may, may take the pus away. Um, either way, it brings a lot of relief. Now, you might do an onion poultice on someone with an earache, and they get a lot of relief. And then a few hours later, the pain comes up again, just do it again. You just keep doing it until there is no more ache. Sometimes one application is enough. Sometimes it needs to be done a couple of times a day for a few days. A friend of mine, she had to do it every day for a week. You know, whatever it takes, the body knows what it's doing, and if it brings relief, the body's saying, thank you, that's, that's what I want you to do. The other place that you can use a cooked onion is on a boil. A man rang me up and he said that he had boils coming on the inside of his nose, are very painful. And I said, well, it'll be a bit hard to put something on the inside of the nose, but I said you could steam up an onion and put it on the, on the outside. He thought that sounded like a bit of work until a few hours later the whole side of his face swelled up so he steamed up in onion and put it on. 
and he said to me that it brought so much relief he was able to sleep and when he woke up he said the boil had burst and all the waste had come away he said he has never got so much relief so quickly because a boil inside the nose as you can imagine is is very painful most pain is due to inflammation so if you can get that inflammation down you can reduce the pain so it can be used on a boil and it can be used on a earache that's the cooked onion now we're going to have a look at the raw onion so the raw onion can be used for a few things now if you have a organic non-geo non irradiated non uh, onion and you cut it up you'll start crying won't you that onion juice has an effect to stimulate the respiratory organs to clear and to thin the mucus so the cooked onion as I said is for ear and for a boil but the raw onion is used often mostly for respiratory now you might be surprised at where I'm going to put this or where I'm going to suggest putting this onion that I'm chopping up and that is on the bottom of the feet for a head cold or a chest cold you see the biggest pores in the whole of your body are on the soles of your feet so what you do is you get a plastic bag thus and you put the onion in the plastic bag and then the foot is put on the let's say this is the foot you put it on the onion in the plastic bag and then twist this bag around and around and secure it and then put a sock on and the sock will hold it nice and nice and firm you want the onion on the bottom of the feet because the biggest pores in your body are on the bottom of your feet and the body will take the onion where it needs to go and often it'll take it if you need it in the chest or to clear the head I was with my daughter and her little three-year-old we put him to bed he had a cold and he coughed and he coughed and you think any moment he'll fall asleep but an half an hour later he was still coughing and I said to my daughter Emma just get him up and we'll do the onion we put the onion on the bottom of his feet put the sock on put him back to bed not one more cough it's almost unbelievable what it does <laughs> and a friend of mine she was she was camping uh, in the bush you know near the beach and the lady in the tent next door coughed all night she said they it kept waking them so the next day in the afternoon she befriended the lady and she said I noticed you have a cough and the lady said oh, I'm so sorry if I've kept you awake and my friend said I've got a little tip that may help you now when you're camping you've nearly always got an onion and you've just about always got plastic bags and so she did it to the lady who was <laughs> willing to do anything no coughing all night long it's such a simple treatment and yet quite uh, effective the the bottom of the feet do not get tender it doesn't irritate um, obviously once you take it off in the morning you would throw it away but that's a very simple treatment that can be done for someone with, with respiratory or a cough so now we're going to have a look at the raw onion and it's quite possible that I might start crying is that right so when you cut up an onion the onion juices they loosen up the the mucous membranes and that's a clear indication that this raw onion is very good for for colds so if you've got a cold cut up some onions and you'll breathe in the onion fumes but what I'm first of all going to show you is what you can do for a sore throat you can finely slice the onion so get a few fine slices so when the grandson or the teenager or the son puts his knee through the sheet it's a good idea to fold them up into into squares this is a good size square so you make we're making an onion poultice for the throat now sore throat and you just lay those lay those little onions 
down like so and then you pull the cloth over top and bottom and then put that round the neck and then you might cover that with a scarf or you might cover it with a little bit of plastic and then a scarf and you can leave that on overnight your bed partner might complain about your perfume but it eases a sore throat I've had mothers say my child's got strep throat strep throat I think strep throat what's this strep throat it's just a sore throat but obviously they've had a test and it's streptococci it doesn't matter what it is this will help it so my children had sore throats they had colds they had everything that children usually get and I never gave them drugs I just used to use these simple natural treatments and I see them with their children today they're doing the same thing to their children that I did to them why are they doing that because it works and now we're going to have a look at how you can make an onion cough syrup so you need a jar and you'll put a layer of onion in the bottom of the jar the layer of onion may be about half an inch and then you put a spoonful of honey on that so we'll put our spoonful of honey on that now when when you buy raw honey in the winter it's often quite solid have you found that mm -hmm. and you can do this with the solid honey and whether it's a runny honey like this or whether it's a solid honey it will they will both work I'm making this at the beginning of our lecture because by the end of the lecture you'll see a syrup will begin to form so now we're putting in another layer of, of onion the first time I read about this recipe it said to use sugar but I didn't give my children sugar so I really didn't want to make it with sugar so I thought I'll try it with honey and it works very well with honey and honey can be very soothing too on a on a sore throat so now we cut up and do another layer so if you have a big family and they've all got bad coughs you could do several onions and fill the jar so for purposes of illustration we're just going to use our one onion so we put another layer in and another layer of honey now the sky's the limit with how you make this you can put garlic in there you can put ginger in there as well as you if you like now our last layer goes in and you end with a layer of, of honey and drizzle it over and if my grandchildren would hear I would give them this spoon to lick so as you can see at the moment we've just got sticky sticky onion and sorry sticky honey and onion by the end of the lecture in fact in about half an hour you'll find a runny syrup it's actually almost runny like water and that's your onion syrup so you leave the onion in the honey for 24 hours and after 24 hours in fact you'll see it even tomorrow through the day it'll look like onion swimming in a syrup so the reaction of the onion the sticky onion on sticky honey on the onion it produces this syrup so after 24 hours you strain the onion out and there you've got your onion syrup which you can keep in the fridge how long will it keep for well I always used to say it doesn't keep long in my house my children very much like the onion syrup but one German lady in a meeting one day she said oh I've had a jar in my fridge for for 10 years I guess because it's uh, honey it, it keeps 
So what's the dosage? Well, in a little two-year-old, you might give them half a teaspoon three times a day, you know. For an older child or an adult, you might give them a teaspoon three times a day. I used to say to my children if they had a bad cold, if you sit still and let mummy put poultices on you and put a few things on you, then you can have a teaspoon of onion syrup. <laughs> now my children, I did not give them lollies, so they thought the onion syrup was pretty good. But I guess if children are used to a lot of sweet things, I don't know, you'll have a taste tomorrow. <laughs> but it's actually quite a nice syrup.